uh, and also I would uh, like to make a reservation concerning the title of my talk. Uh, because uh, the heritage of uh, Chebyshev is really very abundant. Uh, there is, for instance, a, well, a collection of his works, uh, which consists of five volumes, each of more than 400 pages. And uh, they definitely I will uh, talk on only uh, of that part of, of the, his heritage, which concerns approximation theory. Uh, and of course, he also is known very, very known for, for his uh, work in, in, in the area of number theory, uh, probability, and, and many others, uh, including the theory of, of machine and mechanisms. So, uh, uh, Chebyshev, uh, I, I believe that he wasn't a pure mathematician in uh, contemporary meaning of this word, because he was interested in uh, uh, in many other things, uh, in, in particular in, in mechanics, and he, he is the author of, of, of many mechanisms, uh, which were well ma made uh, of wood or metal. And some of those mechanisms are presented in, 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 this, in this site. And, and I uh, very strongly recommend you to, to, to visit this site and see uh, the very spectacular animations of a working mechanism that were, that, that were designed by Chebyshev himself. Uh, when while I was a schoolboy, I had a chance to visit uh, the museum of Chebyshev in uh, Leningrad, that time it was Leningrad University, where many uh, of those mechanisms were kept and uh, they were all working and, and one, we, we, we were allowed to touch them and to, to rotate some something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the still possibility still exists, but uh, it, 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 it was very interesting really. And so I recommend this, this site to, to have a look at. And uh, his first, the Chebyshev's first uh, paper uh, on approximation, uh, it, it was written in, uh, in, in French and it, it is called the theory of mechanisms known as parallelograms. Uh, and uh, his interest to, to this topic, it came uh, from the attempts to improve uh, the me mechanisms of uh, what parallelogram, uh, which is a part of a steam engine. And uh, he here is uh, the formulation uh, of the very first problem that he solved. This is problem one on, on this slide. And then we have a polynomial of a given degree n, and we have to change uh, uh, all the, co the coefficients uh, of these polynomials in such a way that the value of, of its deviation, this is the term of, uh, of Chebyshev, mm, that, that is today we, we, we call it a Chebyshev norm or uniform norm uh, on a given segment E is as small as possible. This is a problem of optimization. And uh, in fact, he settled, he, he, he put much more problems in, in this memoir, uh, but this paper is not complete and uh, no continuation of it is known. He says that I, I, I will well, uh, solve some several, several other problems and will show the application of this problem to, to the theory of mechanisms, but no. We, we do not have a, a continuation of this, so, uh, of so, this paper. So, so, sorry, uh, real, real coefficients or complex? Yes, yes, real, real. Here everything is real. And here is very, here is very nice uh, reasoning uh, from Chebyshev in a number theoretic style. 
First, he says that it is well known, but he doesn't explain why it is so and why it is well known, uh, that the number of the external points uh, of the solution, of the polynomial solution, uh, is not less than n plus 1. n is uh, the degree of the polynomial. And external points are exactly the points of the segment E where uh, the value of the polynomial up to the sign is equal to its deviation on, on this segment. And uh, then he says that uh, there, is, there is an observation that uh, every inner external point, that is point exactly inside uh, the, this uh, segment E, uh, should be the critical point uh, of the polynomial that is the, the zero of the derivative. Uh, and for, 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 for that reason, every external point, which is exactly the solution of this equation, where L is the value of the deviation, should be uh, uh, also a solution of this equation. And uh, in, in fact, we, we, we check that all uh, all the solutions of uh, all set, sets of solutions of, of those two equations coincide, and uh, therefore, two uh, two polynomials which are on, in the left hand side of those two equations should be proportional, and uh, the pro coefficient of proportionality can easily be found if we can compare. The leading terms of uh, polynomials on both sides, and and we uh, arrive to a differential equation for the solution. This is this differential equation. Uh, we see that we merely equating the left hand side of those two equations uh, with uh, coefficient n square, and uh, this is this differential equation can be easily solved because here we have. Separated variables, uh, and the, almost immediately we uh, arrive at uh, the expression which today is known to every mathematical student uh, that is cosine of n times or cos or r cosine of x uh, times the value of deviation. And the value of deviation uh, it, 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 it can be found uh, for, from the uh, normalization of, of our uh, polynomial. However, Chebyshev himself did not use this trigonometric form of representation uh, for, for nearly 20 years, uh, but, but he uh, used uh, the substitution uh, co cosine of theta for the argument to find uh, the zeros of Chebyshev polynomial. That is, it, for, for his, from his representation, this representation easily follows, of course, but uh, this nice representation he didn't use until year 1873. And uh, the readers of uh, Pafnuti Lvovich had to wait for five years when finally he uh, gave them uh, the explanation for this enigmatical number of external points. And this was done in, in, in this new paper of this year, 1859. Uh, and in fact, uh, the number n plus one is, is very simple to, to explain because uh, what is actually uh, the deviation of, of a smooth function uh, like a polynomial uh, on a segment? It is a minimal value, uh, it, it, it is the, the maximal value uh, of, the, of, the, of this polynomial at end points of the interval, and also uh, all of its critical points. Possibly we have to change uh, the sign of those values because we, we take the absolute value. And uh, if the number of uh, uh, of, of external points, that is the points where uh, the deviation is attained on the segment E is too small, uh, then the values of polynomial uh, 
can be taken uh, at, at those points, yeah? Can be taken as part uh, of uh, uh, local coordinates in the space uh, of polynomials. This is a more or less general fact. If we have uh, uh, some n dimensional space, and uh, we consider some germs of smooth functions in some points, then if we take n germs, uh, arbitrary, ran randomly chosen n germs of, of smooth functions, they will make up with probability one, they will make up a local coordinate system uh, in uh, this n dimensional space. For instance, in the space of polynomials or rational functions or other functions. Chebyshev uh, makes a rather general statement concerning the, the number of, uh, of these external points. However, he uh, makes also a reservation that uh, this also happens in, in uh, this, this number of uh, external points. It, 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 it is only for the general situation. And sometimes uh, this number may drop uh, this is the so-called uh, case of approximation with the defect. Uh, and uh, he also explained why this defect may occur and uh, what, uh, what should be done in this case. So in this case, certain uh, determinants, so certain metrics should, should, be, should, should have a lower rank than we, we could expect. Uh, but uh, in this paper, he has no sufficiency, con sufficiency condition for, for the extremum. That is uh, what we today uh, know as an alternation property, which is ascribed to Chebyshev. Now, we, which, as we know, uh, means that uh, in the set of external points, the, uh, the, the, the value uh, of the error function changes its sign when we go from one external point to the next one. And uh, it is believed that this uh, sufficiency conditions, condition uh, was established uh, in a very strict way only by Kirchberger, who was a pupil of, uh, uh, of Hilbert, of Hilbert, yeah, in, in, in year 1902. Uh, however, uh, Chebyshev knew about this property of changing signs uh, for, 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 the, uh, for, for the extremal points, uh, but he didn't write it in, uh, in his mathematical papers. Uh, this property is explained on an example of solution of certain mechanical problem in one of his mechanical, uh, mechanical papers, papers on mechanics. So in this paper that I was talking about, in the last paper, he, that is Chebyshev, uh, uh, gives formulation of three problems. And the one, the first problem is again, the same that we started with. This, this is the problem of Chebyshev polynomial on a given segment. Another two problems are as follows. So the second problem is uh, again uh, the, the, the problem of Chebyshev polynomial, but with a, with a polynomial weight. That is, he has to minimize the deviation from zero of the fraction uh, with a fixed denominator A and the fixed leading term in the numerator P. This is exactly the problem of weighted approximation. And the third problem was uh, a problem of a rational approximation. That is, he had to approximate a given polynomial u small of x, this one, by a fraction with free numerator and denominator with, with the only uh, restriction that the degree of the polynomial is one less, is one, is one greater than uh, the degree of the numerator of the fraction. And this condition is set to avoid the trivial solution 
then uh, the denominator here is uh, is one, for instance, and the u small is equal to u capital. And here, for the third problem, Chebyshev notes that uh, this the solution may have the defect, uh, that is the a number of alternation points or external points. He didn't talk of alternation points. He was talking for talking of external points. Uh, this number is uh, less than we could expect, uh, and this happens exactly in the case uh, when uh, there is a cancellation in this fraction. That is, the degrees of numerator and denominator they drop uh, simultaneously by the same value. And for all those three problems, he uses the same approach, uh, which uh, essentially is number theoretic. Uh, again, he uh, writes certain, for, for the solutions of, of the problems, he writes something, something resembling De Fontaine equations, but not uh, for, for, for numbers, but uh, in the ring of polynomials and uh, develops certain approach for their solution, which again is number theoretic. For instance, for the problem one, which he already solved in the, his first paper on this subject, he considers uh, uh, the Pell equation, Pell-like equation for the polynomials. Today we call this equation a Pell-Abel equation because Abel also studied this equation. And he rewrites this Pell equation without using uh, the relation between uh, this uh, polynomial Q and the derivative of, of polynomial P. He rewrites it as, uh, as follows. This, uh, you, we, we can check that this is the, exactly the same, uh, but uh, the latter uh, equality can be, uh, can be read as, uh, as a convergent for the, that is, this, this fraction P over Q is, is a convergent for the continued fraction expansion for the function X squared minus one and square root of, 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 of all that. And this uh, continued fraction expansion has this, this, the, this appearance. And uh, from uh, this, it is very easy to get the recurrence relation for the solution P and Q. And uh, for the other two problems, uh, Pafnuti Lvovich uh, gets functional equations, which are certain deformation of Pell equation of this kind. So we see here that uh, the weight of approximation appears uh, in the constant term uh, of the Pell equation. And uh, for the third problem, it, it, it is, it, yeah, it's even more involved because the problem is much more involved, of course. And here, the polynomials A, this one, and U small, this one, are given, while all the rest polynomials, that is P, Q, U, V, and W have to be found. And uh, again, the continued fraction technologies uh, which essentially come from number theory. Uh, they are used for the solution of those equations. And also I would like to uh, mention uh, some uh, result, which is not a result of Chebyshev himself, but belongs to, uh, to his pupil, Igor Zolotaryov. This is a best rational approximation of the function signum on the union of two segments, which are separated by zero. Uh, and the solution looks like it is shown on the picture and it is given in terms of elliptic function. I, I will explain it a bit later on the next slide. And here, here we have a solution for two segments, which one is red and another is blue. <clears throat> Uh, which are not equal. But I, I would stress that we have a very sharp, trans sharp transition uh, from 
for, for, for the values of the of this uh, rational function near zero. But there is some distance between two segments. Yeah, of course, of course. They, they cannot intersect. It's, it's not clear. There is a hole. Yeah, I told it, but that, that zero should be between two segments. There is a gap between them. But this mm -hmm. gap may be very small. Yeah. So and in, in modern terms, and unfortunately, uh, the solution of Zolotaryov uh, was very far from any ge geometric considerations, uh, but still, uh, from our contemporary understanding, it contains it has very nice uh, geometric interpretation. <clears throat> For instance, if we have two equal uh, two, two segments of equal uh, length, like like this. Uh, and the, 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 we, we can always reduce our problem to the to the case of, of equal uh, segments by a suitable linear fractional transformation of independent value uh, variable. So we first compute uh, the elliptic modulus tau from a purely imaginary positive uh, semi-axis, and uh, this is. Related to, to the elliptic modulus k by, by this equation, for instance, uh, here theta is a theta constant. That is, a, you have to take theta function um, with, with uh, zero argument. Uh, and uh, you, you construct an, a rectangle uh, with uh, the basement minus 1, 1, but of height tau. Yeah, this is a small rectangle is shown here. And then you consider a larger rectangle, which is composed of n rectangles of smaller rectangles. And uh, each of those rectangles can be uh, conformally mapped uh, to the upper half plane with three points fixed. That is zero, minus one, and one. And infinity, and, and uh, here, the, the, the point, this central point on the top uh, of the rectangle will go to infinity. Uh, <clears throat> and one can show that if you have two functions of this kind, which each of them uh, is correspond, corresponds to a rectangle, then those two functions are related uh, via uh, some rational function. And this rational function is exactly the zolotary of fraction, which is a solution uh, of, of the best approximation problem. And, and from this picture, you, you can see everything about this, uh, about this fraction. For instance, all alternation points, they correspond to the corners of the smaller uh, rectangles. And uh, four of them are not critical points. So they correspond to the corners of the larger rectangle and all the rest corners like this, 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 and this, they correspond to critical points uh, of, 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 of the Zolotero fraction. And uh, you, you see that here, there are exactly two n plus two uh, alternation points. You, you can count all of them. So it's a very, very nice picture. You, you can see everything from it. Uh, and uh, those, unfortunately, those Zolotero fraction, that is very special rational functions, are much less known to mathematicians uh, than Chebyshev polynomials. And, but still they have a lot of interesting properties, including the nested property, uh, which we have for, uh, for, 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 for Chebyshev polynomials. Uh, and in particular, Chebyshev polynomial is merely a very, is, is a limited case of, of uh, of Zolotero fraction uh, for for certain scaling process uh, when tau goes to, to zero. But what is more important uh, here is uh, that Zolotero wasn't only a pupil of Chebyshev. He studied. Uh, he was also a pupil of Weierstrass. Uh, he he studied in Göttingen, uh, and. Uh, so uh, Weierstrass knew about this uh, about this result, 
and he he tell he told that it's it's a very good you have to develop it to a more uh, to to more to, to another problems because there is uh, very great potential uh, in, in in this problem uh, but unfortunately soon after that uh, Zolotyrov died uh, he was he died very young and uh, still the knowledge of the, about this problem it, it remained within a, a German mathematical school and this was an there was an effect after, after 50 or 60 years after that uh, because uh, Wilhelm Kauer who was a, a German uh, physicist and elect electrotechnic technics technician electrotechnician he used uh, Zolotaryov fraction uh, for as a transfer function for uh, the electrical filter, low pass and high pass electrical filter, which today are known as Zolotaryov filter or Kauer filter or elliptic filter, because the elements of this of this filter uh, use uh, elliptic functions. That is computation of the elements of those filters. They use elliptic functions, and we will use uh, also this problem in the sequel. <clears throat> so, uh, Chebyshev ideas uh, today are widespread in the mathematical world, but uh, most of all they are concentrated uh, among, in, in the communities of numerical analysts and also in, in mechanical and electrical engineers. Uh, and I, here I would only list as uh, several topics uh, where uh, the, the ideas of Chebyshev, Chebyshev are, are applied and are known to, to anyone in this community. Uh, this is kinematics of mechanisms. Again, I, will, I, I would recommend to, to, uh, to, to, to visit that site, cheb.ru. Uh, which, which is a project uh, of the laboratory for uh, popularization of mathematics in Stiklov Mathematical Institute. Uh, also, Chebyshev had a lot of uh, results concerning the localization of zeros of algebraic equations, which also has a very very many practical applications. Uh, he himself suggested to use zeros of uh, Chebyshev polynomials as uh, the nodes for interpolation on a segment. And to say his reasoning was uh, as follows. Uh, if we have uh, an estimate for the error of an in interpolation, it will be much better than for interpolation on equispaced grid. And uh, we, we know uh, also that uh, uh, interpolation process on, in, uh, on uh, this uniform grid, it can diverge. This is uh, an example of Runge. Uh, but nothing of this kind happens to the uh, Chebyshev grid. Uh, Chebyshev, the, the interpolation Chebyshev uh, process on Chebyshev grid always converges, even uh, in case of uh, not, not very smooth function. So I believe that uh, ha having the first derivative is more than enough. And uh, Nick Trefton, who is a great expert in approximation theory in his lectures, he, he said that if you have any doubts, please use Chebyshev points. Also, Chebyshev has suggested a sequence of quadrature formulas. Uh, and of, of course, uh, the heritage uh, of Chebyshev uh, includes Chebyshev and the more involved Zolotaryov polynomials. So I was talking of Cheb Zolotaryov fraction, but uh, Zolotaryov also invented a series of polynomials which uh, solve certain external problems of Chebyshev type. Uh, also, uh, he had a very uh, interesting problem about 
minimization of distortion in uh, drawing geographic maps. And as far as I know, uh, this, uh, this is also used today for cartography. Uh, by the way, this problem is has a very nice, uh, uh, very, very, very nice formulation as a problem for, for geometric function theory of function of complex variable. Mm. Also, there is a big topic of Chebyshev nets, which today has evolved into a very, uh, a very, very interesting topic of discrete differential geometry. Uh, of course, uh, th there is a topic of optimal electric filters. I, I believe that every student in, in the, on the departments of electrical engineering know what is Chebyshev filter and what is Zeldero filter. And uh, the problem of uh, 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 a fractional approximation turned out to be very close to the problem of reduction of abelian integrals and uh, so, so, and, and Chebyshev also has very, very interesting results in this, in this topic. But uh, this topic is also evolving these days and uh, for instance it is close to uh, some some to, to, to some topics in integrable systems and so on. And uh, now I uh, pass to the second part of my talk and they consider several concrete contemporary problems of Chebyshev approximation. I will start with the problem of uh, Chebyshev polynomials on many segments. Uh, uh, what, what do we mean by this? Uh, again, we take a polynomial with leading with fixed leading coefficients. This, this is a monic polynomial, and uh, but now the set E is not a, a segment but a collection of seg finite connect collection of segments. And again, we, we can put uh, the problem of minim well. Uh, of, of minimize put put a problem of uh, minimizing uh, the uh, deviation of polynomial uh, on the set of the of those segments. Also, we can impose certain restriction restrictions on the on linear restrictions on the on, on the coefficients, uh, like we, ha we have in Zoltar of problem, for instance. But this is th those uh, problems are more. Uh, difficult. Uh, and the Chebyshev polynomials on many segments, they appear in, uh, in, in many mathematical settings, for instance, and, and in practice too. Uh, for, for instance, uh, there is so-called Chebyshev acceleration for iterative inversion of matrices when uh, the parameters for the iterative method for inversion of a matrix, they are taken uh, as the inverse values of zeros of Chebyshev uh, polynomials uh, on several segments. And uh, those segments are chosen so to contain the spectrum of the matrix. And this is very effective in case when the spectrum of the matrix is, has a cluster structure, that is, it's very densely con con contained uh, in, in, in certain sets of, uh, uh, of real line. Uh, also, it is related to the spectrum of periodic Jacobian matrix that is three diagonal. Uh, two Achiezer orthogonal polynomials, uh, they appear in uh, elliptic billiards and the so-called problem of Ponceleporism. Also, uh, they appear in the In, 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 in as a solution of as the solutions of so-called general Pell Abel equation, I will talk a bit a bit later about them, and uh, periodicity of continued fractions. And here is a a graph of one of polynomial Chebyshev polynomial on several segments. Here only part of the graph is shown, and actually uh, there are 
large humps here in the gaps. So the values go may, may go very, very high, or, or pits like here. Uh, this is a Chebyshev polynomial on four segments, and its degree is 29. Here is another problem, uh, and it, it, is, it, it is a little bit different uh, from the problem of Chebyshev approximation, but still it, it is very closely related. Uh, this is a problem of optimal stability polynomials. Uh, and uh, here we fixed not the leading terms of the polynomial, but it's, it's uh, lower terms. And they, they are the same as, as, as for the exponential function. That is, the graph of the polynomial should touch the graph uh, of the exponential far function to a certain degree. And uh, uh, the goal function uh, for this uh, optimization here, the degree of polynomial is, is fixed and with some lower uh, terms of the polynomials are fixed as well, but all the rest are remain free at the moment. Uh, so we, we have to find the uh, segment of the largest segment uh, to, to the left of zero, such that the deviation of this polynomial is less than one on this segment. This is a rather strange, strange looking problem. It is related to uh, explicit multi-stage rungi kutta method with, uh, with, with enhanced stability. Uh, today, uh, with the uh, vast usage of uh, massive parallel computers, there is an interest to explicit, so-called explicit method. And we know that uh, method for a solution of uh, ordinary differential equations are uh, split in two large classes, the explicit method and implicit method. And the uh, explicit method have a lot of advantages. For instance, they are very, they have very good uh, structural properties which allow uh, them to parallelize them and use on parallel computers very effectively. But uh, for those good structural properties, we have to pay by the stabilities. But the stability of explicit method is, is rather poor. And if we, can if, if we compute uh, the time step for, com for stable computation, for instance, by, by uh, current, current uh, rule, we, will, we, we can find that this step is very, very small. Uh, that is, we, we have to, to make uh, a great amount of computational work uh, to, to reach uh, the end point of the in integration of, of our uh, differential equation. Uh, but uh, uh, many, 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 many scientists, uh, numerical analysts, well, th thinking about this problem, and uh, yet uh, in the 60s and maybe and in the end of 50s, uh, uh, there was an idea to use not a constant uh, time step for integration, but variable time steps. And uh, in this way, to enlarge the stability domain of, uh, of Runge, explicit Runge Kutta method, methods. And, uh, they, they, they happen. They, they managed to do that, and the, uh, uh, the explicit method with large stability domains. They are actually used in computational practice. Our days, for instance, they are used. Uh, the, the computational schemes of this type they are used in uh, Dunka solver, which is, for instance. What was developed in for Chartov Institute of, for Atomic Energy. And uh, regarding this optimization problem, there is a theorem 
by this author. It's, it's quite old, 50 years already, nearly 50 years, that, uh, which shows that the problem for, of the optimal stability polynomial always has a unique solution, which is characterized by, by having quite many alternation points uh, on the, in the stability domain, that is in the segment minus L0. And of, of course, uh, the number of alternation points is uh, related to, to the degree of polynomial and uh, the order of accuracy. Pi, pi stands for the order of accuracy of Runge Kutanat here. And typical situation uh, when n is much greater than pi, say pi is uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Uh, and n may amount, may amount to hundreds and thousands. And uh, this problem was solved for uh, uh, low accuracy method, that is for p equal to one and two to one, yeah. Very many years ago, and it turned out that the optimal stability polynomial is just shifted and rescaled uh, Chebyshev polynomial. Uh, then, in 1992, Lebedev and Medvedev found the solution for p equals to two, and it turned out that this is a so-called uh, one of Zolotaryov polynomials, uh, which has expression uh, in terms. Uh, parametric expression in terms of elliptic functions. And uh, no explicit analytic formula was known until the year 2004, uh, when I showed that it is possible to, to give a formula in terms uh, of, uh, for instance, Riemann theta function, or in terms of Poincare theta series uh, for, for the general case, uh, when, uh, P is equal to three, four, etc. And here we have on this picture, we see the solution uh, of this optimization problem uh, of degree 31 and uh, the, uh, the order of accuracy uh, three. That is, we, we have a touching uh, of uh, the graph of this polynomial to the graph of exponential function to the to the order of x to the power four. Yeah, we see that uh, here that it looks very much like uh, the Chebyshev polynomial, uh, but it has less oscillations. We, we know that uh, all oscillations, that is the inverse images of the segment minus one one uh, are on the real line for, for, the, for the case of, uh, of Chebyshev, of classical Chebyshev polynomial. But here, uh, the, the degree is equal to 31, but we can count that there are only 29 oscillations. Uh, and uh, two more of them are hidden in the, somewhere in complex plane. And also we see that uh, this uh, polynomial is not uh, is not symmetric with respect to the center of the stability domain. And this is because we have some uh, restriction on the right uh, side uh, of, of the stability domain. Another big bunch of, of applications uh, of, 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 of Chebyshev optimization is related to electrical engineering, namely with the optimization of analog, digital, and microwave electrical filters. And here on the picture, we, we see uh, one of them, namely the microwave filter. And it is composed uh, of, uh, of cavities or resonators made, which are made of cavities, uh, which are made, made of metal, and they, they are joined together by some waveguides. Uh, and uh, the physical implementation of, uh, of analog and digital filters are absolutely different. 
That is, analog filter is just uh, electrical chain which is composed of resistors, capacitors, and, and uh, inductances, while the digital filter is merely a different difference equation. Uh, but still, uh, the optimization uh, problem for for all of them are more or less the same. This is a uh, this is a very could, could seem very strange, but it is really so. And this is the optimization problem for electrical filters. First of all, we now we are given finite sets of disjoint segments. Uh, of a uh, real line, which is, has a meaning of frequency line. And uh, this, those two, two, two types uh, of segments are known as pass bands and stop bands of the filter. And uh, on stop bands, uh, the signal passing through the device uh, sh should be attenuated as much as possible. And on the pass bands, uh, it's uh, there. The signal should pass with, with without uh, changing its amplitude, uh, but this concerns concerns the um, harmonic harmonic signals only, uh, because uh, there is there is some distortion of phase, of course. So uh, and uh, now, uh, given the set of stop bands and pass bands, we arrange certain competitions among real rational functions of a fixed bounded degree. And uh, the goal of this competition is to minimize a certain quantity, which is called also a deviation. And uh, for the value of this deviation uh, in, in their engineering literature, there are several expressions, but it turn, turned out that uh, more or less uh, it is the same, that is, from one uh, problem we can pass to the other uh, by certain very simple transformations uh, and uh, the, the values of the deviations are also related by some simple formula. And here I give example of two goal functions only. The first one is, is very typical for microwave filter filtering. Uh, and uh, it, it is as follows. Given a rational function, we, uh, we find its, the maximum value of its modulus uh, on the pass bands and divided by the minimum value of its modulus on the stop bands. Uh, and uh, this value is the deviation. It, it has to be minimized. Uh, and another formulation looks like a Zoltarev problem for, for, for best approximation of sign. So instead of sign, we use the indicator function, which is equal to plus or minus one when X belongs to the X is the uh, <coughs> is argument, it belongs to the stop bands or pass bands. And we have to find the best rational approximation of this multi-step function uh, on the whole uh, set of bands. And it turns turns out that uh, the deviations uh, for those two problems are related in a very sim simple way. Uh, here, I will stress that here a Zhukovsky function appears. And in fact, uh, there is a whole variety of uh, arising of, of optimization problems arising in electrical engineering, but they are more or less variations of this uh, problem. Uh, the modification uh, include, for instance, introducing some weight of, of approximation or some additional restrictions and so on. For instance, we can uh, impose uh, the restriction that uh, uh, numerator and denominator have given degree which are maybe not equal one to the other. Here are some names of, of well-known mathematicians who uh, made a contribution to the study of this problem. 
And it turned out that uh, this problem is, is rather complicated. For instance, it, it ha for instance, it has uh, not a single extremum, not a single minimum, but many, many minima. And uh, for each of those minima, uh, there is some uh, alternation characterization. That is, each of those is characterized by a certain al alternation property. And uh, to distinguish between them, uh, we, we have to uh, chop the space of uh, rational function into pieces which are just different by their topological properties. They are called Stiefel class because they were first introduced in, in the work of uh, Ed Stiefel, which is a known geometry and topologist, but not only, he also is a very well known uh, applied mathematician from, from Zurich. And uh, here are solutions uh, which were obtained uh, by our research group in Institute, the Marchuk Institute, using some ideas of Chebyshev. Uh, and uh, our uh, colleagues for, from an from engineering company, they asked, asked us to uh, to, to compute some uh, some filters, uh, which uh, may impress uh, their managers, for instance. And uh, here we see uh, the graph of the magnitude response of, of several filters. Uh, their order is not very high, it's 34 or 38 here. Uh, the ripple magnitude of ripples the pass bands, it cannot be seen here because it is very tiny. It is uh, around 10 to minus fifth uh, power decibels. And the attenuation is very high. The attenuation is 130 here and 120 here. And it is very typical for contemporary requirements in this industry. Uh, to show you the quality of contemporary uh, electronic devices, uh, I would say that 120 decibels is the roar, roar of the jet fighter at the takeoff. And if uh, those electrical filters were acoustic one, you can stand on the landing stripe and you will hear nothing during the takeoff of a fighter. And here, here are some graphs uh, related to, uh, to, to their um, microwave filters where the response is not a one function, where the response function is described in terms of a scattering matrix uh, with the rational entries. And again, we see that here that uh, the attenuation at the stop bands is very high, this 110 decibels. And he, here is uh, uh, our, our best achievement in this, uh, in this direction, uh, this is this is graph is, is not in, in a logarithmic scale as uh, the previous graphs, but here we can see the oscillations uh, on both stop and pass bands. So the attenuation is not very high here, but the number of working bands is very high. It is uh, 99 uh, work bands, which are split roughly ev evenly be between the stop bands and pass bands. And the computation uh, of this, this is a graph of rational function. Do not think that it is a fence or a barcode or something else. It is a graph of rational function. And this is an example I like very much. Uh, this is a so-called double notch filter. That is a filter that eliminates noise uh, in the very narrow vicinities of two given frequencies, which can be very close one to the other. And uh, their magnification, well, uh, the, the magnification of this picture near this critical point where uh, those frequencies are is shown on this figure. And we see that in, inside it, it has very complicated structure. Uh, we, we have many, many uh, alternation points here. So, and uh, this picture shows you 
and this, this exact, exactly this uh, uh, example was uh, given in, with uh, the, some use of Chebyshev techniques. So, uh, well, so, so some, okay, I will explain it later, uh, what techniques were used. Uh, but, uh, Sorry, Andre, uh, but about later, it's a little bit difficult because you have very few time. Yeah, how much time I have? I think five minutes. Okay, okay. Say, so I, I will say, but still I, I have to, to say some, maybe one or two words about mathematics, which allows us to, uh, to get such nice pictures. And uh, in, in fact, it is related to the uh, Riemann surface theory. Uh, uh, so uh, it, uh, all of those, all, each of those pictures were not obtained as a result of, uh, um, as a result of numerical optimization, which is really impossible in this case, but as a result of application of certain analytic formula, which are generalizations of uh, formulas obtained by Chebyshev uh, and his pupil Zolotarev. And this nice formula is this one, for instance, uh, it is in terms of Riemann surface. On the Riemann surface, there is some distinguished differential and uh, it is related to polynomial uh, if and only if uh, all the periods of this uh, abelian differential lie in the same lattice, uh, which is uh, 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 this lattice is uh, determined by their uh, by the degree of the polynomial. And once uh, this uh, uh, condition is satisfied, the, the the polynomial may be reconstructed from the Riemann surface that is in such algebra geometric terms by by uh, a very nice formula which is shown here and from this representation we see that it has uh, the oscill oscillatory nature that is on certain segments it, it has uh, oscillatory behavior because of this cosine uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, applica uh, applications of this formula for certain particular cases for instance for the sphere uh, gives you exactly classical Chebyshev polynomials because this uh, billion differential becomes differential of this case. case. Uh, for, for the case of tori, uh, that is uh, uh, surfaces of genus one, we, we get a family of Zolotaryov polynomials, which are also known for nearly 150 years already. And uh, for instance, for, uh, for genus two so curves, uh, which is Maybe we can think of that as a thick figure eight or double donut. Uh, we, we, get, we get, for instance, uh, the optimal stability polynomials for P equal to three. This is a solution uh, of one of the problems I talked about. And the similar representations are, re are also exist, they exist also for, for the case of rational functions and they give a very impressive pictures. And I think that I have to thank you for your patience here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Andre. Um, now it's time for a question, please. I, yeah. I have two questions, uh, but Dmitry, okay. Uh, uh, one question, as I know, uh, in digital signal processing here, yeah, you mentioned uh, filter design and so on. More natural to consider trigonometric polynomials, no? I don't know because uh, actually the transfer function should should be a, a, a rational function. It can it can, it, it, it can be maybe uh, yeah, but if this is a rational function uh, on a unit circle. Inevitably, gives you some trigonometric representation. I think this is the, the answer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, because uh, for, it is very typical to, for, for, for the digital filters to consider everything uh, on a unit circle. And uh, if you can consider polynomials on the unit circle or a rational function on the unit circle, you, you make this uh, natural uh, change of variables e to, to, e to power i, z. 
and, and, and you get some trigonometric form. But also, instead of that, uh, you can uh, develop uh, this unit circle into the real line by Kelly transformation. And you'll get exactly uh, some optimization problem for, uh, for rational function on the real line. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Okay. But so I can remark. Questions? Uh, Dmitry, I can just short remark about that because now uh, in this building of low pass and high uh, pass filters, they use wavelengths. This is very popular now. No, no I, the, this I see, kind I, of I, result. I, I, I see, I see, but I, I, I know uh, book uh, of Sergienko maybe and lots of examples. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, may I ask a question, Andrei? Yes, yes. Uh, so I have two questions. First, uh, you mentioned Bell. It's Gennady Bell, so it's connected. With right, uh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I didn't mention it. Is it's just one? Uh, it's a very large topic because uh, what we uh, we are looking for are, uh, are the polynomials. For instance, if we have a polynomial uh, approximation of optimization, uh, which have critical points, most of critical points with values plus one or minus one, but there are some exceptions. And this, uh, the number of those exceptions uh, is the parameter of, of, of this, uh, uh, of, of this, this, this definition. But in case when all critical values are plus one and minus one, bring us to the case of belly function. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the polynomial of this kind, they do exist. They are called Shabbat mm -hmm. polynomial, and they are uh, in, enlisted by all possible uh, trees embedded to, 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 to the plane. Uh -huh. Embedded to the plane. A few and days in, ago, in fact, to the in fact, ideologically, the theory is very close to the theory of descending fun. And uh, actually, as it, is, it is, was re written uh, in, in the slides, uh, the picture, some, some picture techniques, it plays a very great role. It is very, very important and very useful for this theory. But I, I have, unfortunately, I have, have no time to, to talk about it. Okay. Okay. Because a few days ago, we had a conference uh, dedicated to... Seven yes, seven. yes, yes. I know. I know. Yeah, he was... We, we have... The, yes. we have uh, yeah, he died uh, uh, very... Unfortunately, young. yes. I believe he, when he died, he was around 50, maybe. Yeah, we have the around, same uh, yeah, exactly. years ago. Yes. In, we have the, in the same uh, gr group in Moscow University. Right. Okay. Right, right, right. Question. Right. It's about your filter. Is it uh, some practical uh, device constructed already, or just uh, you wish to have some? Uh, I would say that we are working uh, with a group, uh, we, we, we are working with Huawei company and uh, they have a great interest in, in designing different filters, but uh, they, they have uh, very, very involved masks and uh, uh, at the moment we, we, we can uh, meet their requirements only by a numerical algorithm and not with, uh, not with analytical one, because the analytical approach it's, it is very powerful, but it's not very flexible. That is, you can slightly change uh, yeah. the, uh, you can slightly change the formulation of, the, of your problem and nothing will work at all. I so see. we are trying to make it more flexible and then possibly. Okay, thank you. Do you use MATLAB? Uh, yes, yes, but we, uh, in the recent time we, we prefer Julia. Mm -hmm. Because it's free, no? Julia. No, we, we, I think it, it, is, it is more flexible. <laughs> okay, a, any more question? May I ask a question? Please. Uh, yes. Uh, my question is about Zolotaryov polynomials. Yes. Uh, and namely, so it's a one parameter family. Yes, exactly. And then the question is whether it's possible to, to, to get its explicit form in terms of the polynomial, say, an x, yeah, and then coefficients are some elementary functions of the parameter, say, t, yeah. Yes, right, but uh, they, they, they can be found in terms of elliptic functions. 
And no, no, no. Elliptic function, elliptic function is not elementary. So, so say, say radicals, say in terms of radicals. Yeah. I, I think that some cases of, uh, for some cases of, of Zolterov polynomial, uh, admit elementary representation. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Some, but some not all of, definitely not all of them. Not all of them. Okay. And if the, any more question? Okay, if not, thank you, Andre, again for an interesting talk. Uh, and thank now you. we finish uh, this first part of our activity today. And who is the chairman uh, now? I'm, I'm Valodya. Sergei. Sergei. I, I guess I'm, yes. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody.